Howdy ho, dear viewers. Uh, this episode, we have a choice between Theros and Novaria. I think I will go on ahead and uh, do Novaria. Mercifully, this one actually gives us an indication of which planet we need to go to. So that gives me a chance to go through all the other planets. In the longest travel, he found a striking dummy. Oh Hello. shit! There's a striking dummy and a static Swayze, from what I can tell. Yup! Oh, we were just floating out there. I'm so glad you were nearby to pick us up, Shepard. Well, it's a I good know. thing, because now it looks like we're going to go fuck with Matriarch Venezia. I'll get my coat. Yep, and I'll get, I'll, I'll get my coffee. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Eat a dick. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Commanding access granted. Oh, they said that begrudgingly. <laughs> if confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. I agree with you, Seth Green. Always agree with Seth Green. Absolutely. Uh. Because, because Seth Green is love, Seth Green is life. Exactly. Also, how That's dare you my make that life. reference? So, because we are dealing with Major Arpanesia, I think it would make sense to bring Liara with us. And... <laughs> hey, Liara, I killed your mom and you were here for it. Fuck it. Uh, let's bring Rex. Love you. Fuck. Love you, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Thank you, Normandy. I always wanted to know who ashore was. Ashore is probably these jackasses that are about to stop me. Pew pew. Try. Try to stop you. Come on now. <laughs> exactly. Try to stop me is the apt word because they ain't fucking stopping me. I'm too persuasive. That's far enough. That was so This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Uh -huh. and who are you? You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain. I'm a Spectre. Show me some respect. Spectre. <laughs> My name is Shepard. Bow to me. Load of horse crap. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Better not. Rex will absolutely rip your head off. Try it. Stand down. Their house, their rules. Don't come crying to me when they slice your gut open. Hey. We got a powerful biotic and a Krogan. I think we'll be fine. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. Blue. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Don't make me smack you. Because I will absolutely smack bitch. Uh, dangly bits. <laughs> Is rage hard? We're gonna have to smack a bitch? Oh. Speak yourself. I'm Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Yeah, not a problem. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Why so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. 
tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. She is here? Yeah, we need to talk to her. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, <laughs> she's still there. Okay, I'll need directions then. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this fort. Where is this Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Hey, right, see ya. Can we go in now? <laughs> of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Just fucking love how after a conversation's done, your option is always, All right, bye! <laughs> <laughs> eh, don't worry about it. This you know, place drove me you know, insane. I tried yeah. To... I'm a specter. <laughs> Give me access to the place. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Oh, y'all are in luck. Y'all miss, uh, miss the hot button topic of uh, childhood vaccines that happened in the last last episode because I had to deal with that uh, lady and dude that were arguing over the uh, use genetic modification or whatever to uh, deal with a potential chance that the kid's going to have heart problems. If you have questions or concerns, our so lucky you, y'all avoided it. Um, I'm, I'm so happy. The manager's warned us about you. Manager's warned us about you, okay. <laughs> this one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Fort Hanchan. Heard of me already, have you? You're just a jellyfish. Indeed, esteemed Spectre, your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Smuggling in another word. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemy. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Well, let's see what you got first. Right now I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Uh, standard items. Always got to check for those licenses. Yeah. You don't have a license. Oh, you do have a license. So we'll buy that. And finally, a fucking Metagel upgrade. I've gotten like eight grenade upgrades, but no Metagel upgrades. Fun. All right. And I don't think you've got anything else I care about because I ain't fucking buying weapons from you. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? All right, I'll fucking do it. I'll help. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. I am morally gray after all. Please I generally lean on the side of uh, Analeas. That one would levy fees. I generally err on this. Is there anything else? This yeah, you can shut the fuck up. I generally err on the side of kindness, but it's not going to stop me from doing shady shit if it benefits me. What's up, Rex? Love the color of your armor. Uh, he's styling. Styling and profiling. I actually do honestly love that color. <laughs> okay. I dare someone mess with the Krogan who wears pink. And purple. But that aside, uh, some of my favorite colors are uh, Sleepy Purple and um, 
That one really dark shade of purple. I, I love darker shades of purple. It's like a cross between uh, purple and crimson, I think, is the best way I can put it. It's kind of velveting in texture, you know, kind of shiny. Yeah. yeah. Not matte or whatever it's called. I have no idea what it's called. What I do know is Dude Bros Package is right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I ever did this quest. Yeah, it's good for a quick buck. And some renegade points if you need it. Because you are technically breaking the law. What's up? No one expects a Spectre to break the law. Except everybody, because everybody knows that Spectres are above the law. Exactly. I mean, hell, that first Turian you encounter back in the embassy says just as much. He hates people that believe themselves above the law. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and then you find out your Spectre is like, oh no, the galaxy is doomed. Yeah, I got your package. It's right here. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. I mean, that is very insulting when you consider uh, when you consider I've got almost five hundred thousand credits. But let's go with the Paragon option. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to five hundred credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. Yeah, good enough. It'll have to do. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. And I bought the shit I want from you. Just browsing right now. This one so yeah. Your return. So 500 credits is still insultingly low when you consider how much bankroll I currently have. But considering how much bankroll I already have, it's not like I really need it at the moment. I'm pretty sure 500,000 is almost what I need. I think it's like 750,000 for a uh, level 10 exoskeleton. But, I mean, I'm still a little ways off from being able to buy one of those, so... How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Tell me about the thing. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Tell me about the other thing. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Tell me about <gasps> the third thing. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. All right, where's Analeas? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Hey, Krogan. Sorry, Rex. Wanna break a Solarian? Because this guy's a dick. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I assume you've read my file. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. 
Business has come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Just knocking everything off my desk. Yeah, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, I was just trying to get me a drink and just knocking shit over. Much better. Nothing quite like filtered water. Oh, and by filtered yeah, water, course. I mean I got my own water purifier, so fuck it. Of course, I'm going to drink that over yeah. the shitty city tap water I got that is literally yellow when it comes out. Yeah. That uh, seems like pretty it's sus to me. Investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He's a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. What a surprise. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? <clears throat> Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Yeah, well, I need to see her. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Shepard. Clearly you don't know me. There are other people here who could help us. Okay. Divine personal escort. What did you mean by personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. You let a sorry who can kill you with their brains run around, but give us flack about guns? They followed all our regulations. <laughs> they had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I mean, Rex does have a point. Yeah, he has a seriously good point about that. <laughs> what brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. That's why I love Rex. The man speaks his mind, no questions. fucking tilt. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Okay. Time to waste your time. Actually, no, because there's nothing to do to ask. Time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you were at about. Is that a thing I can loot? No, it isn't. Damn. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a path to Wu Tang Chan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Sure you can, if you're stubborn enough. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeus. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. All right, so we need to go talk to some dude bro named Lord Keen. Lorik Keen. I'm going to call him Lauren. Okay. Just because I'm a dick like that. Exactly. Though, I will be honest, I do do that sometimes, unintentionally. Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Sometimes. But not, the, but not all the time, right? Uh, usually it'll initially be... Uh, I'll initially do that by accident, and the, only if the person ends up being, like, super over-the-top pissy about it is when I just decide to be a dick and keep calling them that. Kind of like Alan Brown or Guy Fairy. Sometimes. I'm sorry, Rich. Excuse me. I need a moment of your time. Yeah, what you need? The male human at the hotel bar? 
He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. <clears throat> that will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Uh -huh. Why can't you do this? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. So, uh, why me? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement program. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. So what's my reward? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. That is insultingly oh. low, but... I, Interesting plan. I'm in. If I think about it this way, I also got to remember shit like um, Oblivion and Skyrim, where you do these grandiose quests and only get 200 gold. Yeah. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see right, that, gentlemen, I think I'm going to take subject. one leave. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll catch you guys later. So okay. I see him now. I hope to hear from I'm you. I'm still going to be at this for a bit, probably. Yeah, I, 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 I'm definitely here for it. Hey, you. Can I help you? I'm an Alliance Marine. Wait, I'm a Spectre. Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? Yeah, if the price is right. I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. That is correct. <laughs> I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Muscle degeneracy? I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Unfortunately, because my Paragon isn't high enough, I don't have the uh, next option, but... I know. Uh, you sound guilty. Does Binary Helix have any less-than-above-board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. 
Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Novaria are strictly on the level. Yeah, that's my comm unit. Give me a minute. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. So, for the most part, you need to just pass, uh, I think it was four or five checks. Four yeah. with the last one not really mattering. But, hey, that did get me a good amount of, uh, let's get Mr. or not Rex there leveled. Uh, it did give me a little bit of, uh, Paragon. Yeah. I think for the last one, you do need to have max 10 charm in order to get mm -hmm. it. Exactly. But to have that, you need to play it exactly right. And again, I'm playing as though I would have, how I would have answered my first playthrough. Yeah, it's yeah. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. I mean, I'd rather license this. That's chump change compared to what I've got currently. I'd rather license this. Yeah. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Lauren! Lauren I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I just need to get to Peak 15. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. An intriguing coincidence. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. I'm interested. Do you have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Never heard of it. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. You're probably thinking of elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure something out. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Let's... Before I get out of here, let's... Check on back here. Anything? Nope. Okay. Well, uh, with that... I'll go on and call this episode here because it's almost 30 minutes and meet y'all back in the main building. See y'all soon, viewers. See you soon.